Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 49 of Road to 5 Million. And in this episode, we're taking a load of cattle from Hell Creek Ranch in Jordan, Montana, down to Sheridan, Wyoming. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. And I... I swapped the paint job on my truck. But if you notice, I did some other things as well. We're now more legal because I added fire extinguisher inside to the doors where you typically have your fire extinguishers. And I also added the 2023 Arizona IFTA sticker. I was going to add some like the 2022 as well, but technically the 2023s are out. We're okay. You wouldn't scrape off your 22 yet, but anyway, we're, we're good. And I also took off the uh, oversized banner and flag. And just so you know, to buy those flags again and the banner, it's $220. And I think I got a refund of maybe 120 I think, when I took them off. Anyway, I was messing around with this. This paint scheme on this Ruta 389 is part of the package that you get. And I was messing around with it last night, and then I called Sugar Mama in, a.k.a. the boss management. I was like, hey, what do you think about that paint scheme? And she's like, oh... I was like, I take it you like it? She's like, yeah, that I like that better. So that's what we're going with, folks. I do too. I got to say. And I changed the headlights. Those are called Custom Paint 389, I think, or something like that. Uh, but anyway, they have the uh, daytime running light part to them around the top there. All right, I'll shut up. And I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed right now because it's like I'm going to try and show you this cuz Hell Creek Ranch is pretty cool. And again, I think I mentioned in the last episode, if I didn't, um this is done by Recon Lobster who's in the Discord. He also has his own Discord. But if you're in my Discord, go to the uh, Trucky Mods channel because this is on the Trucky Mods website. All right, let me get my keys figured out. But he did all this. Not just this. There's there's more to it. But um, so this is an actual this dollar sign right here. This is an actual garage in Jordan that you can buy. And the cool thing is you can use the service part and the fuel and you don't have to own this. So that's cool. The fog has lifted or whatever here at night. So this is good too. So, and then this is the part where if you come up here to get wheat or barley or both, anyway, grain, this is where you'll check in. And then it picks up right under that spout is where your trailer will spawn. And then you can take this shortcut through here. This is where like the harvester that was in the load screen or in the freight market will spawn. You pick up there. Hay, obviously, here. Isn't that cool? And then if you go down around this part. Anybody guess what we pick up here? For those that are a little slow, it's cattle. And that's what we're taking, so. Very cool. Why did my display, oh probably because I painted the truck.
And for those wondering, yes, we were like 550, something like that. The paint job was like four grand. Well, actually, I take that back. That's not the only thing I did. I changed the stacks too. We now have the straight pipes, 10 inch still, 10 inch stack straight pipe. So I changed those, I changed the paint job and I changed the headlights because they just look badass on this. I should have changed the little fender guards there that have the blinkers in them still, but I forgot about those. And I really wish that the rear fenders could be like the front fenders because see how the front fenders and yeah, it's kind of hard to see there's kind of a good angle but the tops of the fender basically are the same gray and then the outsides are black the only option you had to do the rear fenders was that gray or solid black and i chose the black because it looked better now that being said i do have the template for this truck could i come up with my own paint scheme absolutely <sighs> however I'm not at that level yet and it's not so much at that level it's just tedious especially for someone like me it basically took me four hours this morning to put that if the decal and the uh, fire extinguisher inside I also changed the font on the other part. Yeah, so coming in and out of the game constantly to make sure that that stuff was centered where I wanted it. Yeah, it's stuff like this for my OCD does not work. And partly that's another reason why, wow, that, that was a low flying aircraft. Partly the other reason I did this was in, do I have this mapped still? Yes. See on the fender there where that inner lip just above the tire matches the main part of the fender. If you remember on the other paint job that that little tiny outer lip was black and then there was like a pixelated white line or so, it just looked like crap to me. Uh, so now we don't have to worry about that. I know, I know, the stupid shit I worry about, but hey, that's... Welcome to my brain. You have reached your destination. I'm not a fan that this is going to be a night run, but is what it is. And I was going to advance time, but I didn't know what that would do for the load, so I didn't. I didn't want to do that. Yes, I'll, I'll turn. I'm just going to go. Can I go around this little thing here, ma'am? Is that okay f with you? It appears our cattle are already loaded. And I don't believe... I have any modded livestock trailers in this game, so I'm fairly certain, but don't quote me, that this is a base game livestock trailer. You have reached your destination. What in the hell are you doing, Ty? <clears throat> well, it helps to be in reverse to go backwards. Okay, wow. Maybe I should hit stop recording, like reload the save and start this over, huh? Nailed it. I guess we may as well turn the lights on now since it's going to make sure the flashers work. How you doing, sir? Thanks. Thanks for the cattle. They'll be in good hands. I promise. They're all standing. That's good. Uh, to be fair, 
I've never hauled cattle. I just know that the people that do check when they're in the fuel island to make sure they're standing. Okay. Could could we hit the right freaking switches today, Ty? Jeez, H man. I'm not even gonna try that, so I'm just gonna go around. And the GPS will get mad. Yeah, anyway, I've never hauled cattle. My dad used to haul cattle. I remember as a as a wee little shit uh, actually I don't even know if I do remember him cleaning out cattle trailers maybe I do I don't know if I went with him or not I was so small when he was still trucking that I'm fairly certain I probably did, though. And I'm probably going to take this a little slow on this gravel. I don't know. It all depends. I'll see how bad. Because the force feedback in this... Oh, I forgot to show trip info, so I'll do that. 34,000 pounds of moo-moos. Uh, the force feedback in this game is really amazing with this direct drive wheel, and it's super smooth. As a matter of fact, let me go into the camera here. So I don't have my hand on the wheel right now, but my wheel is doing the same thing you're seeing that wheel do right now. And the faster I go, the worse it will get. Because it's a gravel road, simulating a gravel road, right? <clears throat> well, I will say that I'm glad I swapped out headlights because these on low seem much more the way it should be versus the other headlights I had. But anyway, since I'm... I have this mounted to a rig, right? And then my monitors are also mounted to the rig on their stands and everything. Um, the monitors vibrate. Especially that big son of a bitch that's up on top. Which is why, if you watch my room tour video, if you haven't, you should. I think that was maybe my first video I did of actually being on camera. Other, I call, I don't really count the Call of Duty ones because I was playing a game. But anyway, I mentioned in there how that's the only regret of this rig I have is that I should have got the freestanding monitor mounts instead of the ones that direct mount to the rig. Because this is vibrating it pretty good right now. I would hate to be playing a racing game or something like that where you're going left and right and have all of that. Now, that being said, I could probably turn down the force feedback. I don't have this base set at 100%. It's set at 80 right now. But it's a, uh, it's the R9 wheelbase, so it does nine newton meters of torque. Whatever that converts to to freedom units. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think that's like six, six foot pounds, roughly. Yeah, so I have 80% of that, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Can't complain. We're almost to the pavement, though. 
as a matter of fact, here we are. Maybe I spoke too soon about the headlights. Okay, so I don't think it's the headlights. I think it's the flare pack for this truck, maybe. I don't know. Go straight. Oh. My bad. Yeah, and you, as you probably saw to the, uh, turn right. you're like, wait a minute, if you painted your truck, why is the thumbnail turn right. still what your old color was? Two reasons. <clears throat> Number one, I didn't feel like changing it. Even though I have, like, the next ten in the, I'm... I've already got them. Like, it would have taken two seconds. <laughs> uh, but really, the main reason is I wanted it to be Go straight. episode 50, right? Kind of like a, I don't know, milestone, whatever you want to say. Even number. And then some are like, well, why didn't you just wait to paint the truck? That's a good question. I thought of that after I, I already straight. hit confirm. So... And yes, I could have went back and reloaded the previous save, and... I was there, it was convenient, so... Anyway. Don't hate me. Please. Well, I mean, I guess you can't hate me for that. If, and if that's what you want to hate me for, then okay. Mile City. I feel like we were just there. <clears throat> I gotta say, these cattle pull pretty easily. I look up did I waste that much time or did that much time come off of Go straight. I could have swore when I fired this game up prior to recording that there was plenty of time to make this run without sleeping about 15 minutes shy. Okay, that would make sense. Flying around, showing you Hell Creek Ranch is probably what did it. Alright, fair enough, fine. And look at that, there's a rest area up here. that I may just pop into. Plus that way will get us to like eight or nine in the morning, depending on when we get up here.
right here. Oh, it's just this little area. Nice. <laughs> you gotta love these. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And hopefully, you know what I didn't check before I did that? Somebody's like, you didn't check to see when the load was supposed to be there, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. But we're good. It's expected Thursday by 540. Or 1740. For those military type. So we have eight hours and 37 minutes to get there. Which is fine, because we only need 423. Okay, now that the sun's out, look at that. Gal, that's just good. I also, for those of the keen eye, uh, my necktie gaming on the step, I also uh, redid that and took off the uh, white border around it. There's another headquarters. Oh, that is a... Uh, I forgot to mention that. If you are interested in the uh, Montana expansion, make sure you read Keep the description right. of the mod yards, go straight. prior to installing. Go straight. Because if you own, I, and I, I'm not going to mention them because I can't remember, so I don't want to give misinformation. All I know is, oh. What the hell was I? Oh, turn up there. Okay. See? <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> I sometimes think I should probably turn that invisible barrier thing back on, maybe? Since I seem not to pay attention when I'm supposed to turn and just run into them. Sorry, cattle. Hopefully you, uh, if nothing else, it woke you up. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Okay. Turn right. Back to what I was saying. I am not going to give the garages. Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. Because I don't want to misspeak on them. Go straight. But if you do own garages in Montana and he lists which ones, you need to sell those prior to activating Montana expansion. nothing like Mater. I, to be fair, I did see that at night, though, so. <clears throat> I was also reading in uh, Recon's Discord that uh, he's working on for I would assume his next update, whenever that is, but either way, he's working on. And I think turn he just right. does this in his spare time. 50 yards, turn left. Which also blows my mind, because this stuff can't be easy to do. But then again, I mean, everybody has their hobbies, right? So... Anywho, he, uh... is adding like a, a beef jerky plant or something like that. But the cool part is, is you can only haul cattle in there, right? But you'll never haul cattle out, obviously. You know, kind of like some of the 
stupid shit that you have to do base game or that you do base game. Yeah, so you won't, that won't be part of it for what he's putting in for his beef jerky thing, which is super cool. Super cool, but I also will say it's sad that somebody that doesn't actually get paid to do this comes up with something like that, right? And to be fair, I don't know how big SES software is, and I don't know how their teams are broken out, but you would think that they would have a team that's dedicated to, I don't know, cargo? Maybe not. I'm just a jackass veteran retired truck driver that plays the game, so what the hell do I know? And the other thing, speaking of all of that, So I mentioned before that the the developers are, I think they're from the Czech Republic. <clears throat> I believe, if memory serves me correctly, but holy crap. So I have the, the Truckee Updates channel, which is kind of like an RSS feed. So anytime there's an update on Truckee Mods, it populates in there, right? You would not believe the mods out for European Truck Simulator 2. And just the maps. I mean, I thought that ATS had some crazy ones. No, like there's... <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing. There was a Exit right ahead. update today about no ferry route to Alaska or something like that. So somebody's made a the actual route from through Canada to Alaska. alive. I mean, this game came out in 2017, I believe it was. And I think five years later, it does pretty damn good for content. But again, it's because of all the modders out there. Same thing with Farming Simulator. Although Farming Simulator is a decent base game, just like this is, it's a decent base game, but if it, if it wasn't for the modding community, um, I don't know that game, if that game would do as good as it does. Oh, speed limit 70. Ah, screw that. I'm hauling cattle. I've never seen a cattle hauler do the speed limit, unless there's a cop in front of them. We got time-sensitive cargo. But yeah, and the other thing about Farm Sim is Giant Software, who makes that game, they don't allow payware. So all of their stuff is 
free. And if they find out about payware, they will shut that down real quick. So that's one difference in the games. <clears throat> However, some clever modders for ATS have brought over. There's some cargo mods that I have from the Steam Workshop for like the Case 600 quad track, a Magnum tractor, a John Deere 9RT, a couple other things, but that individual actually pulled the model out of farm sim and brought it over here. And the reason I know that is because he credited the modder in his in the description of his mod. And I happen to know that that modder does farm sim mods. Makes sense. in Wyoming because it's becoming more barren. And I wonder why I don't get good fuel mileage as I'm screaming down the interstate at 80. Excuse me, you want to get that Mercedes out of my way, please? Please don't anybody pull over here. As a matter of fact, that tractor right there is one of them. I would have still got the green light over in this lane, but I was anticipating having to pull off into the scale like I normally have to do, so. The cattle back there are probably like, what in the hell is this guy doing? Don't worry, cattle. My wife wonders the same thing sometimes when I'm driving. Keep right. I think mainly she just holds on for dear life. Okay, I'm not gonna make that because that guy kind of sped up. Well, hey, we got a nice shot of the Calvin Exit Klein underwear. Right After 100, I don't know about you, right. but I mean, I kind of think that was worth it. No way, wouldn't it? Turn right. Turn right. I don't need to be in one high. I need to be in one low. There we go. Right. Ho, 
hopefully we can find another short run. Well, we'll find... Hopefully it's short, so I can actually deliver it, is what I mean. We're gonna be doing something else, but... trailer you can probably get one for pretty cheap right there oh turn left okay sorry I was looking at the uh, the wreck trailer oh look at that a big green harvester question is is it on a decent trailer or and again I'm not complaining about the trailers themselves. I'm complaining about the cargo that goes on those trailers. Oh, wow, there's a couple of them lined up. Tractor and a harvester. Shared and discovered. All right, where you want us? You have reached your destination. Yes, I have. Oh, look at that. The harvester's actually on a... Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, so here we go. Can I just... I'm gonna... I know I've said it before, but I'm gonna point this out. See where they want us? Can anybody tell me what those three... things are right there? Anybody want to take a guess? I don't know. If you look at this, see how this door here on the left lines up? Yeah, anyway, that's where you freaking unload the cattle. But no, let's go put them in a freaking dock. Because that would not happen. I know, I should be used to this by now, but it's still not going to stop me from bitching about it. Oh, hey, horsies. What do they do here? Is this a glue factory too, or what the hell? I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Could be. I don't know what the hell DFA does. They apparently take their live cattle at a dock. <laughs> oh. Okay, look, can I can I screw this up now? Probably. Probably need to start cutting it. Probably started cutting that a little late. Yes, he did. I really just need to start doing these freaking in cab because my brain is not wired to do this shit outside like this. Some could argue it's not wired to do it the other way either, but <sighs> holy crap in this fucking camera, man. I literally have to just sit here and hold my mouse so it doesn't move. I don't like it, but we're, I'm not going to fight with it anymore. I already wasted enough time on that. Current company job offers, please be something close. No. And no. 
I can't get either one of those done. See, this is cool though. It allows you to change the trailer. Right? So if you wanted to pull it on something ridiculously over needed, over needed's not the right, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I wish external contracts would do that. Anyway, okay, quit screwing around, Ty. Let's get to this. Freight markets. We need something. Could something come to Cody or Gillette? Would be fantastic. Cedar City. No. Back up to Montana. What's that? Oil pipes. That's on trigger. I don't want to pull doubles. Kennewick, Washington. I should probably adjust my distance thing in the settings because I think I have it set pretty high. So that's why I get recommended a lot of these longer runs. Which are fine when you're not recording a series, I would say. Oh, there's a short one. Sheridan to Sheridan. More cattle. trying to decide we just came through there you know what we're gonna take those just for the simple fact I can get that done in this episode and I don't know if I could get the other one I, it would have been nice to go to the other location because we haven't discovered it yet But I also don't want to have to, you know. Okay, so is the cattle trailer actually over here where you would also load them? Well, I'll be damned. Look at that, folks. Oh, wait. Oh no, it is backed up to. Oh no, apparently. Apparently it's preloaded. Are there any cattle any cattle on it? I would have liked this much better if it was like how Recon did Hell Creek Ranch. I mean, there's there's three three lanes there that two of them were open. I'm assuming. And yes, I know. Yeah, same, same way. We gone, folks. Three hour run, quick turn. That's basically what you call a drop and hook. Or a turn and burn. I guess there are cattle in there. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right.
I didn't really see how much we got paid for the last load. I'm assuming that what I made off that load of cattle is what brought us to 568. I guess that'd probably be, yeah. Somebody's gonna, one of you AI vehicles is gonna piss me off here. Like, stop spawning perfectly spaced apart. Thanks. Nice Cadillac, sir. Or ma'am, I didn't really see which it, which it was. It appeared to be a sir at first glance, but who the hell knows nowadays? take that in six gear, but it worked. We're going to have to weigh this time. What the hell happened there? Oh, well, that's because I went to downshift from 7th to 6th, then went to 8th instead, and thought I was in 6th, so just kept trying. <laughs> Check my live cattle. Trucks keep left. Okay. At least these flags are actually moving. Inspection. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Tell me to keep right there. Like, where the hell did you think I was going to go? Okay, fair enough. Knowing me, there's no telling, but still. sake of all that is holy. You know, 
that brings up another another question. Why is why is merging so hard for people? I mean, some people just have a hell of a time with it. external contract on this one. Oh well, I'm still over here passing idiots. you get lady can't make up your mind how fast you want to go I'll make it up for you we haven't got this view yet mainly because there's not really much to see other than my new stacks without the miter If I was to have one complaint about this truck, that is payware by the way, it's 25 bucks, is why are the, the pipes shiny, but yet when you look down at the air horns, they're not. And they almost have this corroded, I mean, I get it, maybe that's the look he was going for, because if you don't take care of your air horns or whatnot they will get to look like that but why not make them shiny There's no reason that GTO should be going that slow in the left lane. I mean, if I owned it, I can assure you it would not be going that slow getting passed by a semi governed at 65. Guess what else I had to do today? I uh, had a little notification down in my taskbar on my NVIDIA icon.
and I don't know why, but my system decided to just up and Keep right. reinstall Keep the GeForce right experience by itself which then meant right it reset my graphic settings on all of the games I have installed because it GeForce Experience will optimize your graphics for the games, right? For the hardware you have. But nine times out of 10, I don't go by that. Yeah, so I had to do that today too. And there was a graphics card or a, yeah, graphics card game driver update that I also installed. Luckily, that didn't screw anything up, so. Okay, I don't know who did that, if that was SCS software or somebody, but that was cool. They could have easily just put two chains in the front, two chains in the back of that backhoe, but they didn't. They actually strapped down the bucket on the arm as well, which you would also do in real life. That was kudos to whoever the hell did that. And if anyone was wondering, yes, I actually pay attention to that shit as I'm out in the real world. of me getting caught out here in the left lane and having to turn fifty miles yet, so Another flipping way station. Good lord. Coming over, dude. Thanks. I knew you'd get the hint eventually. Something tells me this car in front of me is going to brake check me. Oh, this is... This is the non-existent skit. Ty, you should know that as many times as you've been through here in the past two days. Why are you slowing down? Next three exit, and I need the first one. If you're watching the gears up there, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was an idiot again. I don't, anyway. No excuse, just boneheaded move. Same place. 
place we delivered the harvester to. Let's go ahead and same type of facility. Let's just put these in the dock too. Same place we put that harvester. You remember? <laughs> oh. And again, I don't know anything. Like, how hard can it be to move that thing over to here? Let's see how much of a shit show this is this way. And if anyone has hasn't driven a truck before and wondering why I'm backing up so slow couple of different reasons. If I were to hit something that I didn't see back there, there's less likely to cause damage. Uh, and also, if you back up too fast, shit can happen real quick and go sideways real quick and you can't fix it in time. So, typically, you'll just idle in reverse or have very little input from the accelerator. I'm not so sure I did any better. And I kind of want to fix that because I don't like seeing that yellow line. But anyway, the, these freaking cattle wouldn't go here. So we're just going to call it good. Although, for some reason, we got 90 XP for doing probably the easiest back in the game. A straight line back. Not complaining. I mean, leveled up. And where... I mean, I could go long distance, but man, see what happens. Deliveries up to 2,500 miles. That's like across three episodes so let's do uh just in time what does that one do rank four 12 percent higher reward okay works for me and with that ladies and gentlemen episode 49 comes to an end if you made it this far i appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do and don't forget to drop a like on the way out and until the next one y'all take care bye